what's happening guys hey this is a whirlpool washer i picked up uh online for about 75 bucks uh, regretfully the control board inside was shot it's going to cost about 200 bucks to have repaired so i believe i'm just going to part it out and uh, see what i can get for it we step over here to the control board uh, you can see coming up right here uh, that is the first failure point that we found we did a little hillbilly patch job to this and we thought we were done and uh, put it back in fired it up and uh, you'll see down at the bottom there uh, it burnt out again we come around to the back of the unit here the uh, MCU unit uh, really burnt a hole in, in this guy was uh, it's pretty disturbing here. Look at this. Just a humongous burn mark. So, uh, the voltage regulator is probably bad on it. It's hard telling. But uh, I'm just kind of tired of messing with it. But what was really cool was uh, this direct drive motor right here. It really sparked my interest. Uh, self caned, uh, built in heavy duty mounting bracket. Uh, awesome bearing assembly uh, this thing will just make an outstanding generator so if we uh, hook a multimeter up to it here we'll see we get out uh, probably about 30 volts uh, I believe it's a three phase uh, generator there uh, turning to generate voltage is probably 60 revolutions per minute will equal about uh, 30 volts AC you can hook up a uh, full wave bridge rectifier to that and get some DC out of it Getting this guy off was a little interesting here. Uh, just trying to turn it uh, wasn't quite cutting it. Uh, so what I found out was uh, the best way to break that guy free is to go ahead and put the wrench on there and then uh, use a hammer to uh, uh, get some thrust behind that uh, that bolt there to really knock it loose. That seemed to work out pretty good. I apologize for the camera angle. It kind of is what it is. So anyway, here I'm demonstrating how to kind of get this guy off. Um, just keep a little bit of tension on that wrench, and uh, you can twist that guy right off. There we go. Just fling the bolt across the garage there. But yeah, once we got that off, uh, inside is uh, a really nice spline. You can see it right there. Uh, really good construction as far as a uh, stator goes. And uh, I was just really, really pleased uh, with it. And I apologize for the camera shaking there. But uh, we'll prop you up here and try and get this guy off. Definitely watch your fingers while you're doing this. There are some high energy magnets in there. Should have been wearing gloves, but uh, eh, you know how it goes. So anyway, now that I got the uh, outside ring off there, you can see the magnets are in there really, really well. And uh, the stator's just mind blowing. Just unbelievable construction there. Everything's real tight and pretty and uh, nice wiring. I was really, really pleased. So 
So here we are with the uh, stator hooked up to a light bulb. And uh, this is a 75 watt, 110 volt light bulb. And we just lightly put a screwdriver in there. We're gonna rotate this guy. And voila, we have electric. Uh, so I'm pretty excited. Uh, looking forward to what uh, what this guy can bring me. Uh, it's, uh, it's definitely going to be an adventure. But yeah, I was pretty happy. As far as the turns here, we're probably looking at maybe uh, 60 revolutions per minute with no modifications to the uh, stator assembly. Anyway, guys, I appreciate you watching. Uh, and obviously, if anybody needs any parts for a Whirlpool duet, uh, feel free to reach out to me. Uh, I'm definitely going to be selling just about everything in here except this stator. Take care. Peace. Love you.